Hey, we made it back home. It's been a week now, we've been back getting settled in. As you can see over my shoulder, Ruby's made it back in the yard. We'll get her back in the barn here in the next two or three weeks. But um, I wanted to give you a new garden update, and it's a handful, but uh, a little more time, we'll get caught up with it. I put uh, 22 bags of green beans in the freezer so far and 11 bags of peas. But uh, here it is. I'm going to have to just run the mower down it, I think. I've been weeding around the, the plants a little bit. Here's my green peppers nice full harvest crop of green peppers Got some nice big ones in there the four tomato plants totally uh, morphed into one giant bush loaded with just loaded with tomatoes hot peppers Sunflowers are, I can't believe they're holding up to the wind, but they are. This used to be carrots. We harvested all of them, we sorted through all this overgrowth. Got about a half a bush of carrots. Weeded around the onions so we can find them. They're doing quite well, way better than last year. As you can see, the lettuce has gone crazy. I chopped some of it, and I have to be called at the end. A few more nice onions. Not nearly as many as I wanted to end up with. The uh, green peas, some of them are mostly done. They were all totally collapsed over top of each other. The strings were all broken down after being gone a month with all the rain. But I harvested a bushel, a full heaping bushel of peas and uh, shucked every one of them. Oh, that string broke right there. And ended up with that nice stash in the freezer. Wax beans still coming on quite well, doing good. They're ready for another picking. Today is Sunday and I picked those on Tuesday. These are the snow peas. Kind of the same thing going on here. Planted them a little too close together. Green beans. They're doing quite well. We're about ready for another picking too. Uh, yeah, the dill going nuts and the gourds took me a few hours of rerouting the runners and get them started up onto there but uh, starting to climb good now that's where the herbs are in there somewhere sage I do have another nice little row of onions coming up on each side of the sage Broccoli, not too uh, productive. Must not have been cutting the heads quite at the right time and stuff. Never really ended up with nearly anything. But the cabbage is just beautiful. Lots of it, too. Last year I had like two heads of cabbage. This year there's probably, I don't know, 20 of them out in here. Dug the potatoes, one block of potatoes, they're doing good. Carrots, you can see I weeded around them so I could at least find them and get them thinned out. Uh, rattlesnake beans, they're doing pretty good too. I weeded around them the other day. Pretty, pretty good picking around. I'm gonna have to do some more though. Okay. And 
working our way down over the edge. This stand of corn came up thick, but it's not getting ready yet. Some more tomatoes. And then here to the squash. Acorn squash. Oh, these are spaghetti squash. Those might be buttercups, actually. There's a couple of nice spaghetti right here. Look at that. Pretty nice. Got about ready to harvest up. No one up there. And on down there is the pumpkin. A couple more spaghetti. They're all hiding in the deep grass. Pumpkins are the size of basketballs already, though, so... <clears throat> well, let's take a quick look here. We won't take that long. Walk on down here. Oh, there's one. Little guy. Clusters, more gourds. So, been getting a few hours a day in on it, just kind of trying to harvest the beans and peas before they go bad. There goes Stelly, go Stelly. And I'm pretty much caught up on that stuff that might have rotted on the vine. So. I'm going to have lots of tomatoes one day. So, I'm going to uh, pick some more peas and green beans and get to shucking. Catch you later. <laughs>